So we're going to look at some measurement rules and things today. And I wanted to start you off by talking about perimeter. And perimeter is um, a very easy measurement to make anywhere, anytime. You just have to remember what perimeter means. So I've given you two different examples to try to help you remember what perimeter is. The perimeter is like the fence around your yard. So if this was the yard, the black would be the fenced area. And if you want to know the perimeter, then you simply add up how long or how big the fence is. If you're thinking about something inside the house, if you look around the room, most of you probably have some kind of trim around the edge of your floor. And the perimeter is like measuring the trim around the room. So if this was your family room, this would be the trim area. And the perimeter and um, is th just that. It is the exact measurements of the outline of something. So to figure out the perimeter, it's very simple. All you do is add all the sides. To figure out the perimeter, you add all the sides. And that's what we're gonna focus on today. I want to go ahead and bring in the concept of what area is so you can kind of see the difference. Area, if perimeter is the fence around the yard, then the area is how much yard space you have. So the black is the perimeter, the area is the red, it's all the grass inside of the fence. Or if you're thinking of a pasture, it's all the land inside that fenced in pasture. Or if you're back to the house and this is the trim around your family room, then the area is everything that's carpeted or the wood floor on there. So that's the difference. Again, the area is the outside edge, and to find the area, you simply add all the sides. So we're gonna look at a couple of examples, and there's a reminder right here at the top. To find the area, you add all the sides. So over here at the top, I have a rectangle. That rectangle is seven inches by three inches, and I know because of the markings here, a single dash and a single dash, that means those are the same measurements. So I could know that that is also three inches. And because these have the double marks, that tells me those sides are congruent or the same, and I would know those are seven inches. So to figure out the perimeter, I simply add all the sides. And you can do that any number of ways. Some of you right now, may see that seven plus three is 10, and three plus seven is 10. So immediately, you know that the perimeter of that rectangle is 20 inches. Or you can go all the way around and just say, seven plus three is 10, plus seven more is 17, plus three more is 20. So either way, you're gonna come up with 20 inches. If we look at the square below it, it says that the side is six centimeters. And because it's a square, all the sides must be the same. So, and I've got my little single dash marks to show me that also. So I could have six on all the sides of a square, and I can add them all up, six plus six plus six plus six, or I can see that that's four sixes and say four times six. Either way is going to give me the perimeter, the outside edge of that square, and it will be 24 centimeters. Let's move uh, all the way to this side and look at a triangle. This triangle is four inches on this side. And because I have an equal dash mark, the same dash mark there, that's telling me those sides are congruent or the same in measurement, in the length. 
So that tells me what should go here if I needed to see it. It would be a four inch, and then down here is also four inches. So to find the perimeter of this triangle, the outside edge, I simply add all the sides, no matter what, how many sides that um, polygon has. So four plus four plus four, or three times four, equals 12 inches. Now this triangle doesn't have any little dash marks, so I, I, it's clear that my sides have different measurements. This marking right here tells me it's a right angle, but I don't need that for this particular measurement, but I just wanted you to be able to be reminded what that meant. So to find out this perimeter, I'm going to simply add all the sides. You can start wherever you want to. I like to find something I can do in my brain pretty easy. I can do three plus seven pretty easily. That's 10 centimeters. And then add eight more. This perimeter is 18 centimeters. The last example we're gonna look at is this pentagon. And it is 10 inches by five and five, six and six. So the rule is what? Add all the sides. So I'm simply gonna add all five of these numbers. Again, I like to look for things I can do pretty easily in my brain. 10 and five and five is another 10. So I've got 10 plus 10 and then six plus six is 12. So if I add all that together, one, two, three, the perimeter of this pentagon is 32 inches. Again, when you are finding perimeter, that outside edge, you add all the sides.